it's honestly hard to get your mind around how much has actually changed in Horizon West over the past couple years. There's new schools that have gone in, new high school that's getting ready to launch, new middle school that's getting ready to launch. Uh, there's like literally 5,000 new houses that have come on board or getting ready to launch. There's new neighborhoods. And so basically what today I think we're going to do is go to the south part of Horizon West and then take you north, show you what's changed over the past couple years and then what's coming. So for those of you that haven't watched our last video, Horizon West is basically the south area of 34787, the zip code basically South Winter Garden. And the cool thing about Horizon West is you're maybe 10 minutes from Disney, you're 30 minutes from the airport, you know, five minutes from Windermere. It's a really great place in terms of being equidistant to everything. Just down the road, you've got Olympus coming to Claremont. And so I think this whole area is really poised to do extremely well over the next couple years. It's beautiful, I mean, look at it. This is like, $10,000 in lumber right here. It's gorgeous. Here you go. There's your down payment on your next house. <laughs> <laughs> So like right now we're going down Avalon Road and right now it's just a two lane highway, but as we turn back around, it goes to four lanes. When you start thinking about how much infrastructure has come over just even the past couple years, you have Western Way right here, which is in the south portion of uh, Village I of Horizon West. Uh, you've got, so Western Way is gonna connect all the way to Claremont. Then you've got Seidel used to be a two lane highway, which they made a four lane. You've got New Independence Highway, which didn't even exist. And now it's there. It's just, there's so much infrastructure coming in. And I think that's great because the county should be preparing for more people to move here as all these houses are popping up left and right. All right, so what's coming still left to Horizon West? You've got the Toll Brothers neighborhood. You've got Ashton Woods, Taylor Morrison. Dreamfinders is putting in a new neighborhood off of Reams Road and Summer Lake Boulevard where those two uh, connect. You've got all, obviously all the commercial and everything else going on here. So there's still over 2,000 homes that are still ready to be built over the next three to five years. And so if you're looking for new construction, you just got to like wait the process out. Make sure you reach out. I do keep in contact with all of the sales managers for all of these different communities to make sure we know exactly what's coming down the pipe. One of the new neighborhoods right here, you've got Rockwell Homes. It's expanding Winding Bay. They're a new builder. Here in Orlando, they're doing some stuff gonna be up in Oakland Park, but they've got Dallas and some other places around the country that they've built before, but they're finishing out Winding Bay right off here on Avalon Road. Neighborhood, I've already sold like three houses in this neighborhood. These houses were going for like the low threes. Now you can't get in there for under 400. Encore at Ovation by MI Homes. They built a good house. All right, so those palm trees right there, that's actually Claremont. So when you're looking on the map on how Horizon West lays out and you've got Orange County, right? So this is like basically the border. So eventually Western Way is gonna run all the way through and this is actually Saranoa. So if you're looking in Claremont, they've got like Pulte Homes is doing a development there. Uh, D.R. Horton just finished up, David Weekly, Ashton Woods just finished up in there. And so this is gonna connect these two communities really well. This is the crazy thing. To get right there, it takes you 25 minutes to go here and then all the way, like all the way from Avalon to 192 up to 27, all the way back to get right here. And so for everybody that lives in that area, right now it takes like, again, 25, 30 minutes to get to Disney. But once this road is finished, it'll take you 10 minutes. So I think those property values are gonna explode. Like, honestly, I think I wanna buy a couple of investments back there. All right, so this is Flamingo Crossing. And what's crazy about Flamingo Crossing is it's actually not only that they're just developing it like a whole town out of scratch, but this is actually all owned by Disney, developed by Disney. And so if you know anything about what's going on, if you checked out some of my YouTube lives every other Saturday at one o'clock, uh, I've talked about how they're shutting down a lot of the 535 corridor and uh, they're gonna be putting an exchange off of I-4. They're taking some of those shops, putting those over here to then support the cast members that live in all of this stuff around them. So if you know anything about Henry Ford, this is like a little bit of history lesson for you. So where I'm from in Michigan, Henry Ford owned this area where he'd 
had the factory workers, then he sold them houses, financed the houses, then owned all the shops around it, and then basically was able to make a little bit of money from everything. I think Disney's doing a lot of that as well. They've got cast member housing right next to the shops that they're gonna own. There's gonna be a Target over here, Walgreens, really everything you would need in your day-to-day -day life. But if you live in Horizon West, you'll be able to use all of these amenities as well. All right, so this is as far south in Horizon West as you can get. This is like Village I. So basically this is like the last frontier of Horizon West. And we're in the Toll Brothers neighborhood. This is West Haven. And so Toll Brothers is usually like a bit of a higher end product uh, in general, but they've actually kind of brought in a mid-grade product for this neighborhood. And so I think homes here, are, my guess is that if they do townhomes, it'll be in the 400s and then houses all the way up to a million plus. Uh, but it's gonna be a really great size neighborhood. You've got a little bit of a lakefront over there and uh, kind of taking you up and around Hartzog. We'll show you what's, at, what's next. All right, so there's a Dell Web community by Pulte. They're gonna be 500 homes in there. They're gonna have a full amenity lifestyle director. And so I believe this one's actually gonna be gated as well. So that's right up in here along Hardzog Road. When my wife and I were first thinking about moving here in 2014, this was like a two lane side L with a two lane highway. It was like basically dirt. And now it's this like four lane highway and like there's houses just built out. Just amazing how many people are moving here. Even so, even through the pandemic, there's been a thousand people to move to Orlando every single week. And so many of them want a few different places. Horizon West and Lake Nona is where you're seeing the massive amounts of growth and then sort of the feeder neighborhoods around all of those. So right here you've got the Mark. This is coming right now. This will be finished by later this year. They've got a Starbucks coming, a New York beer company, a 7-Eleven, just kind of like stuff you'd need, a dentist, daycare, all that kind of stuff. This is built out by Unicorp. So these are the same people that are doing O-Town West and the Orlando Eye and all that other stuff we've talked about in past videos. All right, so one of the last sections of Horizon West to get built out is really more of the retail section up here in Hamlin. And so you already have like Publix and Walmart and sort of some retail options here. The French Cafe, you got Pizza Press, Abbott's Ice Cream, which is insane. But right over here, you've got a 22,000 square foot food hall that's gonna be coming in, very similar to what they have in downtown Winter Garden, which I'm really excited about being a resident in this area. You also have like a new bar coming in. There's just a lot of kind of retail options for people that live in Horizon West. So listen, if you're looking to buy or sell a house anywhere here in Central Florida, I'd love to be your real estate resource of choice. So make sure you shoot me an email at ken at postedgroup.com and then make sure you follow me on Instagram. We're putting out new stuff every single day about life here in Central Florida. We'll see you guys on the next video.